Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. It's your brother, J.D. Nijah, Jeff Deloach. Bible teaching with Jeff Deloach. Jeff Deloach. All praises to the Most High, Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, bless this message. My brothers and sisters who are here today listening, give them understanding. Give us all understanding of your truth, your ways, your character, your will. We love you, we honor you, we praise you in Jesus' name through the Holy Spirit who gives us everything we need to know you better. Amen. You're welcome. All right. All right, all right, all right. Um, so on my channel, we talk about truth. It is the Word of Truth channel. Word of Truth. So I thought, um, the Lord would like me to talk about it a little bit. So I, I pulled up the <clears throat> biblical definition of um, truth, what the Bible says, um, or what what is defined as truth. Um, the Bible definition of truth is the self-expression, the self-expression of God, both theological and ontological. Theological means of the Bible and ontological means um, in reality, on, ontology, the study of what is. <sighs> So, um, <clears throat> the self-expression of God's both theological and ontological truth is <clears throat> consistent in the theological sense with God's character, his mind, his will, his glory, and his being. So, on this channel, I try and express to you <clears throat> how, it <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, how important it is. To know God's character. So when these idiot Hebrew Israelites tell you, you got to worship Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that's his real name, that's his, it doesn't matter what his name is. He told you, I am, that's all you need to know. It's up to you to, to figure out who this I am is, what his character is, what he wants from you, what, what he's going to do to you if you don't follow him, his will, his mind. You want to know his character. You want to know his mind, what his will is, what what makes him glorious, and his being. What is his being about? He is, he, he is, I am. So he's being something. He's being somewhere. He's being, and that's the whole point is a lot of people don't understand the the being that God is, is all around us. You are being God because he created you in his image. So we're supposed to be being like him. We're supposed to be being in his will. We're supposed to be being in his glory. So <clears throat> it's not anything you can... <clears throat> teach people to do so I'm asking you today <clears throat> are you Israel are you <coughs> sorry <clears throat> awful mm. I hate when that happens <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat every day just about <clears throat> sucks takes a while to clear out but anyway are you Israel? Are you being truthful? Are you honest? Are you aware of who your God is? Have you read the scriptures? Do you understand he's the God of Israel? King of the Jews. And a lot of Christians just... Good, good for them that they're looking for God, but they're finding... A lot of them are finding 
a God of their own mind and it's not who he really is. So ontologically, the truth is the way things are. So are you walking around believing that you're on a globe? Are you walking around believing there was dinosaurs? Do you believe everything they say about politics? Do you believe that we went to the moon? Do you, if you're believing things that aren't true, you're living in a lie. If you're believing things that aren't true and walking around espousing things that aren't true, you're living in a lie. So you're not Israel because Israel is a truthful nation. God is the source. We're talking about truth. God is the source. God is the source, author, and final judge of all truth. So why do we seek why do we seek the truth? Because that's where God is. We seek the truth because that's who God is. We seek the truth because that's why God is. He wants, he's, it's good. All truth is going to be revealed. So if you're living a lie and you're a liar, liar, you're going to you're going to have to pay for your lies for your for your stupidity for your ignorance for your rebelliousness he's the final judge of all truth through his actions words and laws so let's get some scripture um james if i can we'll get we'll get john third john first since I'm right here um, third John verse 2 beloved I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers how do you prosper how do you stay in health by staying in the truth you have to know what's the truth the truth is I can't eat shrimp the truth is I can't if I get stung by a bee, I'm going to be having an allergic reaction. The truth is, um, I'm going to be 63 years old, as in years to humanity in at the end of October. The truth is, there's a bunch of sand out there on the beach. The truth is, I have five fingers. That's truth. It's prosperous to know the truth. I have four fingers. Well, yeah, you have four fingers and a thumb. Is it a finger or not? Well, I got five digits on my hand. That's the truth. Get it? You can't prosper by going around going, I got two heads. And people are all, I only see one, but I got two heads. Don't talk shit, in other words. Verse three. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, even as thou walk in the truth. What do we, what's the truth to God? It's his character, mind, will, glory, and being. The, you're walking in the truth of who God is. You're not making up stories. You're not reading the Bible and putting your own spin on it. You're reading it in context of the rest of the Bible. So when we're trying to figure out the truth, we need to break the code. And the code has everything to do with Israel and the Gentiles coming in underneath them. That's the truth. There's going to be an order and... It's <laughs> If I could be so bold, Israel is God's chosen people from the beginning till the end. That's the truth. We don't know who Israel is because they've lied to us. True Israel may be you. That's the question. Are you Israel? 
If you're Israel, you will be so stuck on being honest, being truthful, knowing God for who he is, not for who some black Hebrew Israelite or some Christian pastor or some fucking nasty ass child molesting priest tells you he is because they're not honest in themselves. Why would they lie? Why would they be honest to you? I have no greater joy than to hear that my children, verse four, James or third John chapter one, verse four. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. How does he hear it? Because when you speak, you're not speaking lies. He hears, he hears what you're saying. He hears what you're thinking. He hears, he hears your I'm telling you. You can't just you can't just think nonsense and think God doesn't know what you're thinking. He knows your thoughts. James 1, 18. We're talking about truth. Biblical and ontological. Ontological is, the truth is the way things are. <clears throat> it's not this truth or that truth. It's the truth. Kabar, Tahar, you wicked fuckers, man. Black Hebrew Israelism is a fucking cult, a wicked cult, people. These guys, I don't know what the fuck happened to these guys, but they're going to get, they're going to get it. They're going to get, they're going to find out what truth is. Tell the truth. Can't even say truth. They can't even say it. Um, Verse 17, James 2. No, James 1, 18, 17. James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. When you raise your vibe, when you tell the truth, you raise your vibration. People, people may not like it. I'm thinking to myself right now, why is it people don't? Some people have a hard time with me because I vibrate at such a high level because I'm going to tell you the truth that they're like, it, it, it drives them crazy. The more truth you have, the more truth you'll get. The more God you have, the more God you'll get. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variableness. There's no variation. Truth is the truth. When he gives you, he gives you. He gives you gifts when you're honest, truthful. He loves the truth. What we read in John 3, he loves to see his children walking in truth. That's why this channel has no has no subscribers. The truth is truth is brutal on these liars. They hate it. Like I said, it drives them out of their fucking mind. I tell them the truth and they're like, "Ah!" Of his own will, of his own will begat he us with the word of truth. What were we made from what were we how did he bear us how did he birth us how did we become how did we become we became through his word of his own will begat he us with the word of truth it's the name of my channel That we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. So why, how do we know that the church isn't the first fruits? Because the church isn't Israel. 
Let me get it. Let me get it. Who's the first fruits, Tony Williams? You fucking dumbass. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't be nice about this stuff. There's no... I don't like liars. I don't like people that are stupid. I don't like people that talk shit, that know nothing. I don't like idiots. I don't. I stay with the truth. So in Zechariah, he's talking about Israel. Who's Israel? The ones that tell the truth. Zechariah. Zechariah 8, 16, a truthful nation. Who is Israel? What, what nation is he talking about? Israel. We are a truthful nation. Word of truth. Word. These are the things, verse 16, Zechariah, the prophet, chapter 8. Verse 16, a truthful nation. These are the things that you shall do. Speak you every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. These are key verses, people. Lovely family, Masha, people of the Most High. I and I, Rastafari, Bingiman, higher man. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor and love no false oath. For all are things that I hate, says the Lord. <sighs> Don't speak evil. Don't imagine evil in your hearts against his, your neighbor. Imagine. Don't think evil of your neighbor in your heart. I don't hate, I don't. All right, um, so we're talking about truth. Let me see what I got, 18. Um, we're talking about truth. Why, why, why is being honest so important? Because the Lord loves when his children are honest. 2 Timothy 2.15 Work for God's approval. How do you do that? How do you work for God's approval? Uh, not by... Not by... Telling anyone the gospel. I'm preaching the gospel. I'm, I'm perfect. I don't sin. I never do anything. Blah, blah, blah. I'm, I, I repented. Before you can even start to repent, this is this is a good point about repentance. If you don't know the truth, you got to repent from being ignorant first. You got to repent from being ignorant first. If you're going around saying things that aren't necessarily true and you're pushing them on people and you're saying you got to repent, you me 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 but you don't even know the gospel. You're, you're saying things. You, you have God's character. 
you're, you're misinterpreting who God is. First of, of everything, God wants you to be careful what you say about him. That's what these it that's what these pastors and these fuckers that are either getting money, trying to make it look like they have they have love in their heart, but they're just trying to push something on you and make you think that they're smart. The birds came right by the truck. I'm smart, but that's not the main goal. My, my goal isn't to convince you I'm smart. My goal is to convince you who God is and what he really wants. Work for God's approval of these things. 14, 2 Timothy chapter 2, 14. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Ruin. Why? Why do I tell you, be careful who you listen to? These people are trying to make you believe things that aren't true. The black Hebrew Israelites, probably the most dangerous bunch of assholes out there. And they just happen to be a bunch of black guys. So it's it's really hard not to call them a bunch of fucking wicked niggas. Because that's what they are. They're a bunch of wicked fucking dirty, corner standing, subverting, manipulative, lying sons of bitches. Just like Pastor Michael Caesar. Just like Tony Williams. They're manipulating your mind. They don't know what they're talking about. What's the first thing he says? Watch your words. The prophet, the the prophet of the book is to know the truth, God's character, God's mind, God's will, God's glory and God's being. That's what he wants. He wants you to know the truth. What's the first truth you want to know? Who this guy, who this God is? Who is our creator? What's his character? What does he want? How, what's his glory? What's he glory in? He glories in the truth. He glories in reality. Why, why do I say all these things that everyone would think I'm crazy? You believe in flat earth? Well, I don't know if it's completely flat. I just know we're not on a globe spinning through space. Water can't stick to a spinning ball for one. Two, there's no proof that anyone's ever left here except on your TV. I haven't heard someone honest go, yeah, man, I went into space. It was trippy. It was dark. It was, as soon as we, as soon as we left the, the gravity, gravity doesn't exist, people. There's no such thing as gravity. It's a made up lie. We're held down by density. Surely, you should study, verse 15, to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing what? The word of truth. Dividing what? The word of truth. Dividing what? Word of truth. What's this channel about? Word of truth. Word up, people. Lovely people, Masha, people of the Most High. Let me see what I got. Okay, we're in Isaiah. I'll come back. We'll talk about word of truth. All right? I love you guys. Live up, Rastaman. Bingimon, higher man. Turn up your vibration and tell the truth. Don't be afraid of these heathens. Nah, -uh, we're on the globe. Nah, -uh, there was dinosaurs. Nah, -uh, we've been here for millions of years. No, no, no.